What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off our last time, we have absolutely gutted the Swedish position in Europe and we are now having to uh, chase off some of the straggling forces they've created and push them off towards the east, towards their last city and their Russian allies. So without further ado, let's crack on and take them out. So right now we need to reinforce and replenish as much as many of our troops as we can and push them east. Because you really need to uh, knock out the Russians and they're, they're sending significant numbers of troops our way. Uh, especially around Sweden. There's two full stacks there, ready to try and take out the city. And this is actually pretty ideal. Let's drop my guns behind the lines, drop in quick climb. Let's create one unit to storm straight up the embankment another unit to storm up the left flank so my howitzers can just fire from back here, my general can sit here oh, I'm getting some reinforcements also in the very convenient in a very convenient place Let's do that for now. So the gunners, they've both joined the map, so spread them out and then just have them fire along the flank of the Swedish position. Actually, let's get my howitzers to focus on the cavalry. Commit. Commit to the charge. Well, just form square anyway, you'll run straight into me. You fire well off. They've committed. Just let them do what they want to do, I suppose. Okay, fire it will on. Just dump everyone into square. Let's also pick up all of our howitzers and get them to fire on some of these positions here. Looks like these. Let's take these troops and form a flanking line here. Ah, they didn't stay in square. The fools. Stay in square, you'll be alright. Get these guys to push up. If they just stay in, stay in square, they will probably survive. Well, at the very least, this unit will be able to repel the Hussars. This unit seemingly looks like they're not going to uh, hold in position. That's why we've got the 42nd over here to provide some gunfire into the, into the cuirassiers. Although it looks like that's hurting us more than them. I hear a lot of quicklime coming in. Especially when I've already given you a new target, but whatever. Okay, and these guys are also going to charge the Crassier guards. So then these units go there, you guys form up like so. Curiosiers have been pushed back, so you men 
fill up this gap. The infantry guardsmen are on the charging. Artillery hit the regiment of horse. So the 71st, they're engaging my grenadiers. Line infantry guards up to no good. Can you guys charge them, that's clearly what you want to do. You men push up to the top of this ridge. Push up. Come on. Yeah, the guardsmen, line infantry guards, will eventually win the combat. So right now my men are just holding them up. Quick like my own guys again. Especially when... Okay, alright, just stop shooting. Eventually, round shot the howitzers. There's been an opening up on the 22nd Regiment of Horse. They aren't charging, but they're very weak. If they do decide to charge, then they will likely not like it. You guys will hopefully engage the cavalrymen. Okay, let's send... Let's send some more men in there to go knock out the cavalry. And then these men here... All pivot to engage the fusiliers. Yeah. Got line infantry guards, they're no slouches in combat. They will stick around and they'll do stuff, especially when they're quite elite like these guys. They're level four. The granted experience always experience always goes up after they've after they've lost some men. But there we go. Now they've learned what it means to fight against the Italian Empire. There, ah, they've forgotten it again. Although everyone's been cleared off. There we go. Sweet. But that's pushed that Swedish army eastward. We've knocked them out. We lost a lot. We lost a bunch of troops, which I would rather not have happened, but they're down to two units. These men can push up to the to this pass here. Let's push our cavalry to join them. So we've got men attacking or pushing on the Swedish front. You men are move up to be in a better position to support. You guys that are ready can push up and help secure the secure the space between these two rivers. Can you men leave Saxony? Minus four. Eh, leave you for one more turn. Mario Torricelli, let's also get you over here. You men could probably stand to A, reinforce and sit in the territories or sit in some of the ports so we can deploy you into the Russian flank. So Berlin, eh, they're a bit unhappy. Okay, let's. You were going to go join them. Let's, let's actually join them up. Then let's pick up some line infantry in Berlin just to keep them happy. Let's 
Defense Force can replenish. We've got a bunch of guys down here near Brandenburg, which is going to be... Not Brandenburg, Stuttgart. Which is going to be mighty interesting when we inevitably go to war with Prussia. To be honest, this army, Cologne, Vito Spero, they might be... That might be what they get dedicated to do. First destroy the Prussian enclave and then also the Munich enclave, because that is a lot of troops. First of all though, let's keep our troops pivoting east, because that's where the threat is. We've also got some Russians up here near Sweden coming to try and take us out. Let's, let's recruit a bunch of lines just to sit outside. And then this army that's here, you guys get aboard ship. Let's take my very experienced navy. Deposit them off the coast. Move this navy back. Yeah, if these armies can replenish, I'd like to sail them and land land near St. Petersburg. Because right now that's, that's kind of pretty under... Well, it's, they've got defences, but it's undefended. So you're marching north because there's a small Russian force up here. Yeah, you're still recruiting garrison troops for Finland, which is good. So we're at war with the Ottomans. That's why we're keeping every area blocked up. Although I could actually put them there. I don't want to put. I want to push them up together. I want one army to go hit this territory, while the other army can go siege Cairo. That's the way I'd like to see it done. Let's upgrade this port. Let's, try, let's do some of these port upgrades because they're an end, they're a final uh, tier upgrade. Okay, two more turns, then another army in Spain will be completed. Let's pick up engineer school here. Just do do these upgrades. And we've got two armies to go land to try and fight against the Swedes here. And then we ultimately need to go send them to go fight Malta. But the main threat is Russia. At the moment, everyone else can be dealt with in due course. So let's move our spies up. It would be good to try and to blunt their initial advances across the front line and then land troops to the northern edge to what well, to uh st petersburg oh yeah they've they know what's oh, the ottomans know what's up um yeah i want to push uh, uh, I'm gonna, yeah i'm gonna also resolve that <laughs> Just to see how many we we, we knock we knock out. We knocked out two, and we didn't actually lose. We didn't lose our ship. And let's auto it again, because they've lost another ship. So they're pushing my ships away, but their navy isn't in a good shape. It's nice that they are sending their stacks out to try and occupy ports rather than do anything that might actually be useful. Yep, and their agents continue to try and steal my technologies. Don't worry, every turn we creep a turn closer to where we no longer need any schools. That's a lot of Russian troops. Ooh, I don't want to intercept, I want to reinforce. Although that's, they're kind of depleted. No, let's reinforce. If they want to raid the school, that's fine. They'll raid the uh, that particular building, it's fine. Well, they're coming to go hit us. Ooh, they're coming damn close. They're going to pick up another army. Looks like it. Where are they going to land? That is quite a large invasion force now. Uh, yeah, auto that. Every chance they let us, every chance they give us to uh, chew up their fleet 
we want to take. Because once we've buttoned up, buttoned up their fleet, then they've got nowhere to go. Good, an army's marching away. They can't cross the strait to Norway. Now they've given us the option to intercept, which we definitely want to do, because this army's pretty weak, and this reinforcing army doesn't get rockets, and they've got lots of Siberian hunters. They've got extra, extra men that we can just knock out, so it, let's do it. Let's bring them into the fold. And let's gun them down before the walls of Stockholm. They may, well, they will likely end up getting a breach because they have enough artillery to do so, but I don't think, if even if they do breach, it's going to be particularly significant. We will likely be able to still just push them off. Okay, let's check we've got no... Okay, we do still, we actually already have a breach. That might help us out in the long run. So let's take two guns. Deploy them like so. And they're going to be firing shrapnel shot. So now they can be stood further back from the breach and still provide a good amount of fire support. Let's put some of our men in key positions. We just don't want them to climb up walls and stuff. That would be very frustrating. Let's probably put a unit here. So that leaves us with a whole bunch of howitzers. Which will probably be adequate sat here. A whole bunch of infantry. So I'm probably going to want to take my guards and deploy them... Here to deploy stakes. Let's put some guards in the barracks, put some line infantry here. Put some guards in the barracks, marines here. And then as they breach elsewhere, we can then move troops. I could put could put a unit in here. Okay, and then my general is ready here. No. Okay, so. There you go, now all my howitzers are firing. Quick climb. You go after that regiment of foot if you can. And let's make sure we do knock out the militia, because their militia isn't terrible when it comes to the melee fight. Okay, get him back. Didn't get to deploy stakes, but this is what happens sometimes. Oh, great. My own guards are bugged on the gatehouse. Perfect. <laughs> So starting to make a breach over here. Cannons to shot. Just have them open for rapid fire. So these men will take over. What happened to you? I've got two units in here. Good, my guards managed to unstick themselves. Pick new targets. Don't want too many units sat in there. Okay, you can go here. Let's 
you men get into a bit of a better position to protect the gatehouse. That would be great. Get this up. They are pounding this section of the wall, which we need to be aware of. We've gone straight past the breach. There we go. At least our men here have started to actually man, man the walls in a sensible way. Good, those mercenaries have been repulsed. I don't know what the hell's wrong with this unit. I mean, that's not... Eastern European mercenaries just gang up on them with both of these units. They still aren't making up their mind where they want to go, so let's make sure our quick climbing howitzers are chivying them along. Funky melee time. These mercenaries should go down pretty quick, but the one to watch out for are the militia because they're not they aren't terrible so let's run you guys over here and get you guys to cover the gate there's some line infantry trying to charge in through the center fortunately these militia are hanging around right outside of our walls where we can just shoot the shoot them to bits let's pick make sure we've got uh yeah good our infantry our howitzers up have picked new targets Mercenaries, they're the things to be careful of. Oh, that's a whole bunch of line infantry killed there. So we're not we've not got anything covering back here specifically, but throw these men into the fight straight away. militia is they're pretty good in the they've actually got quite good melee attack stats let's just run these guys around with them oh, something's changed so this is the cavalry coming in Tenth Horse Guards Heavy Cavalry, no less. Well, heck, Shrapnel Shot came in and taught them a bit of a lesson. Love another Shrapnel Shot now. We've pushed back probably the mercenaries. There we go specifically switch to canister shot just to make sure we do kill those men switch back over to this fight there go. now we're mowing down the militia so over here and the militia are coming have now joined the fray this trap my shot kills them bunch of cavalry. Okay, all of my howitzers switched around shot start to work on some of this artillery. You fire it well off. I should have let them fire really. Let's get them in a good position to mow down the... Oh, cavalry's now come back specifically. Yeah, they're going to get the guns this time. Ah, well. 
cavalry can be re artillery can be easily replaced. run our guards up blocking and then they're going to dump them into square formation go on guardsmen you multicolored swines I don't reload See, there's 10th horse guard units now charged in. Let's switch to square. All of the militia have now climbed the wall, so if we destroy them, then they're done for. Hey, what have you got? How can you get through? Yes. Oh, I think they could get through because the gunners were trying to flee. So as you hit that regiment of horse, you guys hit that regiment of militia, you guys stay bombarding that artillery team. No, oh, quick line the bejesus out of them instead. Here comes more cavalry. I'm afraid they are going to get shot to bits. To be honest, I might even just stay in square for a lot of the, a lot of my units because most of the threat. Well, she has militia coming up. You guys gonna try and climb these grappling pots? Apparently not. Get you guys back to the gatehouse. Because they are shattered. men over to man the wall again. The general bodyguard coming in. A handful of militia, but they're not very strong. Although the general's bodyguard is going to suffer significantly at the hands of our squares. One of the generals has been killed. Probably this guy, this one. There they go. Get back into square. Eh, switched around shot for most of them. So these line infantry are going to charge across the defences. There's a militia inside the building. That's not going to last too long. Especially if some of them are going to charge outside. There we go. So this line of infantry can just... Actually, you may as well just charge them anyway. Although you're definitely running the wrong way. There we go.
good. Let's go to mercenaries are upset. There you go. I'm not expecting my men to beat the Russians because they, they do get bonuses in melee combat compared to my guys. Good, so then everyone, just all my howitzers, just round shot that gun crew there. Hopefully they'll just rout. Good, then hit the 22nd. Throw them into the fight as well, just to make sure. Look at this brave Italian soul. Surrounded. Oh no, not anymore. Yeah, everyone else that wants to come in are all cavalry units. So just drop all these units outside into squares. Artillery is going to keep dropping in. Oh, here come the re reinforcements. Not that they're going to do much help. Siberian hunters, blunderbuss shotgunners, more cavalry. Yeah, this general's bodyguard, he's going down. Light Hussars aren't going to do too much either. There goes the General. Just got to make sure these guys don't drop out of square formation. This whole bunch of Hussars just fell then. Get you guys into line. They've still got nowhere to charge. If they charge around the f to around the building here, then those guards are still in square as well. And they're going to get fired upon from these men in the windows. Poor devils. So you may need to reload. Might even get these men out of the command HQ because it's done. Th well, that part of it's damaged. These Siberian hunters, range is their advantage. Apparently, they don't have a lot of common sense. I don't care how long range your guns are. Charge these men to go fight the blunderbuss shotgunners. The Russians are winning slightly, but we're pushing them back from the bridge. Artillery's dropping in. I nearly got them to break, but not far enough. General's bodyguard coming back, some light dragoons. Let's get one of these artillery units to keep quick climbing. Units like the pikemen. Drop it in the square. Let's see if we can actually knock out the general. Where is he? If he's in this unit, that is. He might be dead. Looks like he's dead. I can't see him. What the hell you're shooting at? Ah, uh, you guys also fight the blender by shotgunners. You got nothing else to do. Good. Take position back on the 
on the spot here and let's probably throw these men into the fight and let's start to speed up time chiefly because they've not actually got a lot of men to stop what we're doing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when something something actually actually happens. So see you in a second, everyone. There we go, guys. All they needed was my general to sally out and kill these gunners over here, and the battle is over. So we've seen off two of those Russian armies, which we need to, which means we need to uh, immediately start replenishing uh, our men, because yeah, they might have lost nearly four thousand men, but we've lost significantly more. Although that doesn't mean they have no major forces near us to challenge uh, our forces in near Stockholm. That Russian army in Romania attempts to break out south. We do still have an army in Istanbul ready to move. But it should be doable. Because I want these guys to be stronger. I just want them to fall back. Austria. Start to recruit men and fast. Can the force at Dresden. First of all, let's upgrade you to a church school, upgrade you to a Jesuit college. Can Michel Contarini move out? Minus three. But if I recruit a whole bunch of infantry... So I'm wondering if can these could both these guys intercept and attack the Russians? And the answer is probably yes. Let's march some of our men along to go cut off the enemy. You guys replenish what you've got. This guy can march towards the direction of these other Russian troops. Now Ricardo Tozzi, as we've won those naval engagements, just get in there and start to blockade their ports. You guys collect those extra ships, get into Lubeck, and rebuild and repair, and probably yeah, get some extra ships. You men keep marching north. Let them intercept you if they want to intercept you. You men at the star fort here need to keep replenishing. We need... We need more ships. It's got to the point where they don't necessarily need to be good ships. They just need to be ships capable of blocking passes and so on. Like if these men went for Christiana, I'd be a bit concerned, because we can't really... Those men won't be enough to stop them. Let's build a craft workshop here. Um, hmm. So this force at Rumelia. We march up to here to help block the Russians from attempting to do anything silly. Get these men... Occupy another port. So we've got... The Ottomans are coming, so it's curious. and It makes me wonder, do I want to just kind of withstand them? And the answer's probably... Well, I can't build reinforce... I can't build um, fortifications in Cairo, but I definitely do want to push. I want to push the Russians out of here and scatter them back up in this direction. I want to get... Oh, these men are actually ready. Okay, these men, you guys keep replenishing. Let's pick up some sloops to transport these troops and drop them. Drop them where, though? So, ideally, we need to go ahead and engage and fight. Hit Gdansk and then control this river crossing. I want these guys to march up towards Warsaw and control that river crossing. 
you, Nino Boscovich, you might actually march towards Vau. These men can march up and hold the pass. Start to threaten their southern flank. Hmm. So what do I want to do? First thing I want to do is probably take this guy and hit. No, not that direction. No, withdraw. Because he would have been sandwiched between two armies. You're replenished. That's not really what I want. You're not in range to do anything. Maybe move this. Actually, I could do that. Yes, Balthazar. Okay, quite a serious Russian engagement, but I think we've got the we've got the men behind us to help us out. So let's make sure we've got infantry coming in. Then probably drop some howitzers in so that we can, if our army got destroyed, we can form a pretty decent defensive position. Awesome. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.